Folks, let's get an action explosion up in here. So I finally got around to watching Justice League, the latest DC Comics movie about, you know, the Justice League. You know, the one wherein they said, uh, hey, you know how Marvel built up the Avengers with like each of them having their own movie and then it was really exciting to see them all together? Uh, and then DC went, well, we'll have a Superman movie and then we'll have them fight Batman and then we'll just throw everybody else in there. Yeah, that's what Justice League is. And here's the thing, it is better than I thought it was going to be, but it is still not good. Justice League is a movie that feels like it was written by 14-year-old boys. And it's what a 14-year-old boy wants out of the Justice League. Now, to me, what makes the Justice League so great? What sets them apart from Marvel is the sort of purity of the heroes. What makes Marvel great is that sort of a postmodern deconstruction of superheroics, right? Spider-Man is a superhero, but he's got a bunch of problems. And that's true of all of them, whether you know it's Iron Man's hubris, or you know the flaws in the system that face Captain America or whatever, right? But what's great about Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman is their purity, their iconography, their archetypicalness as you know these sort of epitome of superheroes. And Warner Brothers has tried so hard in these movies to dirty them up, or at least dirty up the world around them, and it's not working for me. Plus, they want everything super fast. They don't want to. They don't want to build a structure where you get the, wherein when Thanos shows up in the 20th Marvel movie, it's enormous. They want everything now. And what you end up with is just this super dumb cacophony of a movie that features a crazy, useless, poorly rendered villain, you know, contending against these sort of mildly funhouse mirror versions of these superheroes that we of the super friends, the superheroes we grew up with. So Aquaman is here and he's fun but he's weird because they took Aquaman and they said, let's make him like Thor, but it, you know how Thor is kind of a tongue-in-cheek parody of a bro? Let's just make it not tongue-in-cheek. And then Ezra Miller is here as the Flash and he's pretty charming, but we already have a charming Flash on TV, so why is this guy here? And he's just hyperactive nerd turned up to 11 the whole time. There's no subtlety to him. Gal Gadot is back as Wonder Woman. They've taken the course correction from her own movie of not having her be super cynical all the time. And she still works pretty well here, but she sort of gets lost in the noise. There's also some other characters, but who cares about them? Superman does come back in this thing. They have to fight him at one point. It's weird. I'm going to be honest with you. This version of Superman, the Henry Cavill Superman, has never worked for me. And then at the end of this movie, they're fighting Steppenwolf, who's the bad guy in this, and he sucks. But they're fighting him, and all of a sudden, the movie realizes that the DC Universe and the Justice League aren't about darkness, but light. And for a second, everything becomes like much more lighthearted, and Superman becomes really charming. The Henry Cavill Superman becomes really charming at the end of this. And he has this banter with the Flash that isn't like the Marvel banter, but is its own thing. And all of a sudden, for like the last 10 or 15 minutes of this movie, the clouds part. And for a moment, the movie's pretty good. And then it's over, and it was pretty dumb for the rest of it. So Justice League, I'm not going to watch it again. It, it wasn't great, but there, it ends with the hope that one of these movies could be pretty good. Oh, but then we found out Henry Cavill doesn't want to come back as Superman anyway. <laughs> and Ben Affleck wants out. Guys, it's a mess. Justice League, two and a half stars. And don't forget to visit our website, northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever. There, you can watch reviews of every movie we've ever covered here on the show, as well as complete episodes. That's northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever.